and welcome to a uh, disorganized uh, chat here with uh, Dirty Mike and the Dive Wallet Gang. Uh, we were just trying to uh, figure out. Uh, sometimes too much too much technology is a bad thing. We were all trying to figure out the best uh, format to uh, get. It's just because it's uh, just because it's Telegram. I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, hey, uh, how do I get the word out to our membership so they can listen in? You the link. Ju- you. Can- or I'm live streaming, so I mean you can just get them to join on mine. We got like ten people at least in on mine right now, so it's up to you guys. However, you guys want right. to do it. I'll tell them to do the live stream to the YouTube. Right on. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's fine. We already got people in it. Ah, uh, so how's it feel to get the launch done with? Good, but it's still crazy hectic around here. Um, the um. You know, we we're dealing with with Coin Market Cap and in Coin Gecko now, um, and then on top of that, uh, today's been absolutely insane because of the 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 buys and the and the buy pressure that's been rolling in. Um, it's the first kind of thing we've seen like that. Um, but you know, the work doesn't stop because now uh, now we actually have to build the uh, the wallet, which is also already kind of um, been talked about, and uh, we're waiting for some stuff there. Um, but uh, yeah, feels good. <laughs> Let's talk about that chart. I mean, it's uh, it's looking pretty good, right? <laughs> you guys are uh, doing a great job. Yeah, I mean, I I, I guess it's uh, I guess it has to do with kind of the I, I really truly think it has to do with the organic community that we have. Um, it's really friends of friends, and and you'll see that within our Telegram and Discord. Um, and I think it's paying off. I know there was there was uh, there was some stuff out there because we dipped below ICO for like five minutes uh, after launch. But after that, I mean, it's it completely one eighty and and you know look where we are now. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's crazy. Amazing. You guys are almost double. Yeah. you're almost double of what launches, right? Right. No, we're we're beyond. Yeah, we're beyond double what launches, which is exciting. And and you know, um, hopefully we see more of that as as Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko roll in, but. Yeah, yeah, super I'm, exciting stuff. I'm looking at it right now. Some bum just sold seventeen hundred dollars worth. <laughs> That's all good. So excited. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny though is uh about that uh he was talking about the organic uh, membership and yesterday, so a couple of days ago we had a bot raid and he went through and was shutting down everything trying to trying to manage that and it was right before launch, I think, or right around launch. And uh so we ended up like putting in place a bunch of things to try to help mitigate it. And then just yesterday he goes, Hey, are we still locked down? I'm like, I don't think so. I think you released everything. And he goes, no, I think we're still private, bro. Can you check? And I went and I looked and sure enough, the group had never been changed from private, which is invite only for telegram. Oh, so really? that really, you know, and I, I was wondering why there was absolutely no FUD. There was no, no negativity at all. And in the long run, it's like, wow, these guys are just really friends of friends of friends, you know? Man. Yeah. So what kind of uh, what kind so, of cha- what kind of challenges did you guys have on the launch, if any? Uh, um, well, uh, it was a chaotic one for sure. Um, they to all say the are. least. We yeah, um, we thought everything was was totally ready, you know, for for a go and everything, and then um, we actually ended up finding a lot of dupes in the whitelist uh, Excel sheet that we had. Um, so we had to fill those up. We did a bunch of flash giveaways. Um, there was a lot of you know a lot of chaos around that. Then on, then on top of that, um, we uh, oh there was uh, there was there was a little bit of a uh, mishap by me. Um, with the contract and everything, uh, because I ended actually, I ended up sending uh, tokens to the private sale holders, uh, airdropping them manually to the private sale holders without any liquidity, um, which caused a certain amount of um, tokens to get locked in the contract, and it was just kind of a mess because uh, Ping Sale wouldn't let me finalize uh, due to like insufficient liquidity. Right. Uh, but thankfully, uh, thankfully EJ from, uh, yeah. Everflex swooped in. <laughs> I was talking, uh, and, I was talking uh, yeah. with him at launch and he was like, I don't think they put anything in the liquidity yet. I was like, Oh man. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know rookie mistake. And I think it was just nerves and everything. Um, but, um, it, it, part of that was that the tool we were going to use to airdrop after the fact just didn't work. Um, it, it just it didn't I, I i don't know why um so i had to go through manually and do it and and i think i you know that got me nervous and then on top of that you know it was just crazy um but it's all good um hindsight's 2020 because uh you know 
it all ended up working out, you know, even That's though, great. even the launch was a little bit chaotic with the ups and the downs, um, especially the downs for a little bit. And then we kind of established a floor floor and, and started trading sideways and, and then we were trading up and that's kind of where we're at right now. And, and, you know, coin market cap application, uh, at least the preliminary one is going in today. Um, and then, uh, we'll see how that fares. Uh, there's zero guarantees when it comes to coin market cap though, about, about, you know, first time, second time, uh, rejection. Yeah. Um, I I heard that if you apply too many times too, it slows things down. I'm in another project right now that everybody's they've applied like two weeks ago and still haven't gotten listed. And I'm like, my god yeah yeah it's uh you know it's temperamental it's a very temperamental system um and and if you don't really have exactly what they're looking for they kind of tell you no go back fix this and come back and then when you come back it's even slower than the first time just so so people um, can understand that this is actually a good point because uh you know a lot of people get really impatient with new projects because coin market cap takes a while what are some of the things that coin market cap looks for and that you know kind of holds it back so maybe people can understand Essentially, it's just proof of traction, right? Regardless if that's voting sites, if that's your chart, if that's, you know, uh, volume, price, anything, um, you know, it, they're, they're probably not going to list a project that's trending under the ICO with a volume of, you know, a couple thousand a day. Right. Um, but uh, based on our chart today, I figured it was a prime time to kind of just throw it at them and see what they said, um, especially because, uh, you know, our community is really, really um, showing out. Especially like you know today, yesterday. Um, so you know, they, they just decided to be a little bit more aggressive with it. We were going to wait a couple more days, but you know the chart today changed that, and um, I'm sure there'll be some correction with that price. But right now, you know, it's great. I mean, again, volume is the key, right? And we're getting, we're killing the volume yeah, game today. I, that's we're what up. I was just looking at. I was looking at bog charts and all, and your volume is yeah. We're uh, we're up. Uh, yeah, I think we're up seventy four percent today, that's which amazing. is absolutely insane. Yeah, almost a double in volume. Uh huh. Um, so you know, that's all. That's all community, man. That's it's crazy. Um, but um, yeah, again, hopefully uh, it'll continue that that upward path uh, with coin market cap under the belt um, within the next. I don't know. I'm not even going to promise a day or, or say give yeah, give any sort of you estimate. Don't let no people idea. hold you to it for sure. Um, well, yeah, so absolutely what are, not. So, what are your guys' plans mm-hmm. on keeping the volume up? Because I, I know a lot of, uh, especially reflection yeah. tokens, you know, have that initial burst that you know launch and uh, then the fud to get in, and then it kind of seems like a lot of them kind of die off until you know, like utilities uh, start. So, like, w- what are some things that you guys are you know kind of going to do to you know try to keep the volume up? Uh, introducing staking a little bit later on. Um, it, it you know it's something that we we plan on doing. Um, then I mean the main thing on top of that is that the wallet development and the talks that we've had with with people um so far have been really 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 good um you know that's not to say that the wallet will be out you know next week right, right. but um and and we're still sticking to the, the end of q3 um but it has the potential you know to to i i mean i don't know what the potential is just know that that's going very well um and that's what you know this project is about, I guess. And, and, you know, with staking and everything, um, you know, hopefully that'll, you know, encourage some, some really long-term holders and everything. Um, but yeah. Are you guys going through uh brew labs or D gem for your staking? Yep. Brew labs. Yeah, um, great, man. the it's team's so awesome. Easy. It's so easy. That team yeah. is so great. Maverick's awesome. And, uh, they're, they're just, yeah, so we're, we're very close. Those spoilers out of us. Come on, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's what Dirty yeah. Mike does. Dirty Mike gets the new the Damn scoop. It. I didn't know it was going to be a, one of those kind of interviews. Yeah, it's not. I, I didn't even know you were still there. I thought I was just talking to APEC. I didn't even know you were still there. You're being quiet uh, for that's once. That's cool, man. No, that's yeah. okay. If anybody gets the exclusive, I'm glad it's you, Mike. That's cool. So, All yeah. right. Well, that's, that's uh, good. That's yeah. a bit of our that's a bit of our special news. We were kind of holding under our hat for a day or two, like he was just talking about. But good for you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Brew Labs definitely makes it easy, man. Uh, it, it's uh, yep, so they're easy. a great team. Mm-hmm. Are you, I guess you guys yeah. are probably going to do like the thirty day, ninety day, like a lot of people do, right? Uh, yeah, super standard staking pool. Yeah. But um, yeah, should be cool. Just provide something, you know, while we're you know 
a lot of people love staking, so why not add it, you know, especially if it's easy. Now, on the sour part of launches, especially with pink sales, <laughs> did, you guys hear, uh, uh, did you guys hear of any, like, people in your community get scammed by, like, bots or, like, fake groups that kind of set no. up? No. Really? We, no, we shut down, we shut down the fake Telegram group, like, 20 minutes after I heard about it, and that was the only one. Um, no, I didn't well, hear we, any. In- we, we did have one person who thought he got scammed, but it turns out he bought cake instead of DWT before we launched. <laughs> I feel bad. So, yeah, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> well, at least he didn't get scammed completely. <laughs> at least he got something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, Pancake Swap, it defaults to cake when you go to purchase something, you know? So he just, he, you know, he went from B&B on the, what he's going to purchase with, and then at the bottom, he had, he had already had it in a dive wallet, then had to change something. And it reverts back to that by uh, by default, and so he went thought he yeah he thought he got scammed out of it at first. I'm glad that didn't happen because I've been in other launches or you know there's been a lot of people that come back saying I just got scammed for like three thousand dollars or yeah. you know large amounts that yeah. were horrible to, to be like without you know. I so almost got I almost that. I almost got scammed a couple of weeks ago. I was in a uh, pre-sale and uh, I just mm-hmm. really quick I you know I was doing something that day. And like right when it opened up, I, I just clicked like the first thing I saw in my Telegram group. And uh, when I went to uh, connect my wallet to it, I saw the pink sale had two eyes in it. And I was just like, oh, man, it, it looked just you're like lucky. It. You're lucky. Uh, you're lucky it didn't wipe your stuff right then and there, man. That's um, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it's funny that we're talking about that. You're talking about that with us when that's like literally like one of the primary focuses of what, you yeah, know, what we're trying well, to do. Well, that's why I wanted to bring it up with you guys, because, you know, yeah. it seems like every time there's a new, like a presale almost every single day, I'll see like two or three different things pop up in my uh, telegrams, not even in yep. the group, just like on my private chats. And it'll look mm-hmm. exactly like the pink sale mm-hmm. launch pad, except for it'll have like two eyes in pink sale or P Y N K. But of course the yep. address that you send the mo- the contract to the money to is different than, you know, what the regular pink sale would be. But the one that I yeah. was in a couple of weeks ago, they got like 720 B and B's. That's crazy. You know, I, I mean, it's I terrible, they, but maybe those scammers didn't make it into our group because uh, they didn't get a chance to. Um, they didn't get a chance to do uh, um, get invited to the group. You know, well, the, problem, <laughs> the, the problem is they don't necessarily make it into your group. They go into the people who are members of your group, and it'll just show up on their Telegram feeds as like the legit pink sale you know, for it, like the official like pink sale launch of it, it wouldn't be in your group. It would be in like each individual, like, you know, member of your group's one that they would like invite them to it. And then they just click on it real quick and think they're connecting to it. So that's why what you guys are doing is so important because I mean, that gets so much money from people almost probably every day. Look, we got, we got flack, right? There was some flack being thrown around on, on, on various forms of social media about the games that we played with people and the way we gave away our whitelist spots. And um, it was during the initial dip, right, where I think a lot of tensions were high for a lot of people. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't have done anything differently if, if given the opportunity because we have a community, right? Yeah, we have a community yeah. of friends now. And, and, you know, just because, you know, we're playing games and giving away five bucks here and there, people are enjoying themselves while they're in your telegram. People aren't asking, you know, when this, when that, when, you know, people are asking each other how they are, like, you know, how their day has been or what they're doing. It's just different, you know? You know, it's funny as an influencer, I'm in so many different groups with so many different projects. Some of them are great, like you guys and like ever reflecting stuff. And, uh, you know, some of them just they don't even talk to the community there's no games there's there's no interaction whatsoever and that's when the time that people are just gonna be like hey you know what the hell's going on you know that's when yeah, all exactly the fun starts to creep in you guys i gotta tell you uh man I, i'll I, I i see irish up to all hours of the night i mean they're, exactly. they're, they're like playing games and shit. No, 100%. You, guys are, you guys are keeping the community so engaged and like just truly having fun and that's what i can honestly say you guys are doing a great job of and please please keep well, thanks, it up Mike. because that's what makes your community different from a lot of other ones and the fact that you guys are always communicating with the community and having voice calls and stuff like that's the stuff that you know makes people feel good about a project and keeps them you know, interested exactly Exactly. And that's where we're, you know, we don't plan on changing anything. 
and our mods are great. You know, I, I like to give it up to, you know, a bunch of them because we've got like 20 of them and they all jump in whenever they can. But we got a couple of heavy hitters, Muzz and, uh, you know, our buddy Deeprog. I mean, those those guys are basically my shadow. When I'm gone, they're over in their hemisphere, you know, <laughs> getting it done. And it's, uh, you know, but they're community members too. That's why I think it's fun is because before there was ever any admins, before we ever needed a chance to even prop anybody up to that position, it was just a bunch of people in there having fun. And, and you know, as soon as we started thinking like, oh, maybe we should get some mods in these positions, uh, it was an easy choice for sure. And it, it hasn't disappointed me yet. Yeah, man, it definitely. Uh, we're getting some stuff in the live chat here. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, please write them down in the chat. And uh, can, would you guys be willing to answer a couple questions? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, that's why we're here. <laughs> uh, we were going to keep it light tonight and just kind of talk because we haven't talked in a little bit. You yeah, know, yeah, uh, yeah. Ever since you guys were one of the first interviews that I did. And uh, I definitely, yeah. to, you know, me and uh, Jake were talking and uh Definitely wanted to get together, you know, pretty soon after launch and, uh, you know, get you guys a little bit of coverage, uh, whatever little bit I'm able to help and, uh, you know, just kind of see what you guys are up to. We have uh, somebody in the chat who wanted to know, uh, let's see, where the hell is it? Oh, okay. Brian wanted to know, is there an update on getting a rewards calculator on the website? Yeah, we have it built. Um, we're styling it and putting it up on the website, um, within the next couple of days, but we have it built. It is done. Uh, I have not announced that yet. Um, yeah, man, we're getting all kinds of exclusives out of you guys tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so I'll tell meantime, you, there's another cool one to theirs. It's a uh, rewards tracker.com and it's a little bit slow, but man, it's, it's pretty thorough. Man, that's nice. awesome. That's awesome. And I assume at this point, rewards are already uh, being sent out to people uh, in contract yep. sales and everything every, you know, hour, two hours, something like that, especially with your volume. I'm sure it's pretty frequent. Yeah, hey, hours. Sorry, Mike, I, I misspoke on that. That was a uh, reflection tracker dot com. My bad. OK, oh. cool, man. So uh, so what are you guys uh, what are your guys plans for tonight? Anything fun? I have to go take a midterm in 30 minutes. I'm not, oh I just, <laughs> um, I'm taking a chemistry midterm in 30 minutes. Oh, that's, that's God, my night. Chemistry. That's been my entire day. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know, grind doesn't stop for me, man. I've been all over the chart all day and, um, then it's off to school stuff. <laughs> I know Jake, uh, uh, Irish, what are you a little league over there? He might be coaching or something. Is he a coach over there? Yeah, so, you know what's funny is is they wanted me to keep score of the game, and the game's getting ready to start, so he's making sure I'm okay with the keeping score. This will be my first time doing this too. I'm good, John. Yeah, I didn't get the lineup. Yeah, I was just gonna write him as they came to the play. That is okay, crazy. Okay. Give me a second, guys. We, we we could turn it into a radio coverage of the little league game. <laughs> we'll yeah, seriously, on right? Cover That's so YouTube. funny. So what kind of shit are you covering on your midterm tonight? I, I know I had tr- hell of trouble with chemistry. I hate to say I had to cheat. Uh, it, but, uh... <laughs> yeah. God, it's like um, reaction rates and and, uh, and kinetics and, you know, uh, just tons of stuff like that, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a brutal one. I've been studying. That's why I've been kind of quiet and everything the past couple of days in the community because I've been, I've been grinding away at school and, um, you know, it's going well. It's just, <laughs> it's a lot to manage right now. Once this week, um, once this week kind of ends, um, we'll be in a much better scenario because, uh, midterms will be over. It's spring break. Uh, so we're going out to the beach and, um, can have a good time and, and I'll be a lot more involved in the community. So nice. Lori Kelly wanted to ask you, APEC, are you going to pass your classes yeah. and all this craziness? <laughs> I have always I'm I'm beyond proud of myself and saying that I've always, believe it or not. That's awesome. <clears throat> At least as of now. <laughs> what classes are you taking this semester? Uh it's a lot. Um Biology, biology lab, chemistry, chemistry lab, Jeez. econ, economic, microeconomics. Oh, um, I hated microeconomics. I, I I dropped out. Yeah, I, I dropped out. Uh, I didn't do very good in college. Attorney <laughs> Mike didn't do very good in college. <laughs> um, let's see, what else, dude? There's one more. Um, oh, psychology. Yeah, and that's it. But it's. 
I say that's it, but it's it's a lot. <laughs> How do you like psych? It's cool. It's cool. I considered being a psych major, but um, decided not to. So the opportunity to take it's really cool again. Are these all like uh, prereqs that you got to get done, or are these just uh, just um, everything just, but like, electives? Everything but micro econ is a uh, is a prereq, but it's all good. Got to get them done. <laughs> You still there, sober? Oh yeah, man, I'm still here. That's good. So, what do you got? What, what do you got going on? How did uh, how did the launch treat you? Uh, what what kind of stuff were you involved with with the launch? <laughs> I actually had a launch party at my house, man. I had a couple members of the community show up that I hadn't met before. Really? Um, it was pretty cool. We barbecued tri tip and hung out up uh, northern California, and I had a bunch of screens going and. A house full of people, and it was a good time, man. It was a little strip there uh, with pink sale shenanigans, but other than that, man, it, was, it went really well. I'm having trouble hearing you a little bit, but let, let's talk about tri tip. I'm always hearing Californians talk about tri tip. What for people who on the East Coast who we, we don't really get tri tip or you know that kind of cut? Like, what is the cut of tri tip? Is it a cut of sirloin, or what is it exactly? I don't even know what that is. I've never yeah, it's the big. it's the tip of the sirloin. It's a cut. It's uh, it's predominant out here in Northern California. It's a I know. really I hear, I, I hear marbled. All the time. I, I watch a lot of food shows, and I'm a big cook. You know, I'm always cooking, so I'm always hearing tri tip and all. And I, I just I thought it was part of the sirloin, but it's just not cut over on the East Coast. You know, too much. We don't really see it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a really marbled cut, and it's uh really good, man. Um, the flavor just locks into it when you, when you, uh, smoke it for a little while and then put some direct heat on, leave it on indirect heat for a while, wrap it in foil. So it all kinds of, all kind of formulates together, man. It's, uh, I make really good tri tip though. I'm really good with my meat. You like smoking meat or barbecuing it? What's your, uh, it, cause it's hard sometimes, you know, to control the heat of it. And a lot of times meat ends up overdone when you're, you know, grilling it. But, uh, a smoker, I think you can probably control it a little better, right? It, it's all charcoal, man, with a little bit of a uh, soaked wood. I usually soak mine in uh, apple juice or apple cider vinegar for a bit, and then really? uh, let the wood take over and yeah, leave it on indirect. Because sometimes it comes out too smoky and it tastes like it got caught in a house fire. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what kind of? Uh, yeah, yes, this conversation has shifted from crypto to tri tip, but you know what? That's okay. This is what we do on Dirty My Crypto. We talk about all kinds of different shit. Uh, what type of uh, what type of wood do you like uh, using? Uh, mesquite, man. I'm a mesquite man. If I'm doing pork or something, I'll use apple chunks, but mostly mesquite for, for cooking meat. Mm. Man, that sounds so good. I just had fajitas. <laughs> for, I just had fajitas for dinner, but you're, you're making me hungry again. I'm on this stupid diet because my cholesterol's high and I got to watch my saturated fat, which is just has been so fucking hard. I got to tell you. So I'm used to just eating you know, keep- like anything I want. If we keep talking about this, I'm sure Lori Kelly is going to shoot a text over and say, when try tip because she comes to my house. When Except try. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, as, 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 at least we're bypassing the when Lambo <laughs> bullshit. I, I don't care. Well, when try tip is good. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Jay's man. I had, chocolate, I, had, I had chocolate covered pretzels for lunch because I've been so busy. So, Life of looking a forward to at least the big... Right, right, pretzels. right. I know. <laughs> All right. So, Jay in Love the chat it. is saying you can slow cook like a steak and then reverse sear or smoke it like barbecue till it's like brisket. Nothing better than brisket. Yeah, that sounds good. And Lori's yeah, I said before, and other man, we did. <laughs> That uh, that tri tip is a really good inexpensive cut of meat, and uh, there's only one of them per cow. So typically, the butchers didn't used to used to put it in their display case because once somebody bought it, it would leave a big empty hole in their display case. So they typically would cut it up and use it for other kinds of uh, stewed meat and stuff like that. And then uh, I'd read somewhere that, like in the 50s, there's a restaurant in Santa Monica, in California, that started it and said uh, it was like a delicacy for them. And then once the word got out, and people started realizing they could do it at home. It's like, yeah, it's, it's pretty big now over here. Man, I got to uh, I got to go to my we see we, I, I live in South Carolina here. and For some reason, it's crazy. Mm. We don't have like any butchers around here. And, you know, I'm from Philly originally. And, you know, the, every corner there was a butcher. And it's so weird. There's like no butchers or delis down here. It's just so odd. I don't, uh, are there butchers up your way a lot? 
all over the place, man. Yeah. Hey, Dirty Mike, are you, a, are you an Eagles fan? Of course. Oh man, Ouch. my boss is an Eagles fan, man. That guy sucks. He sounds like a, he sounds like a great man. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, Eagles fan. Hey, what, Jeremy, what's up with that song he was doing for us? Oh man, he's he's busy working on his own thing, man. He's got all kinds of stuff going on, but he's a, he's a rapper and he's from Philly. He's a good dude. Is it the is he doing a rap of the Fly Eagles Fly song? <laughs> no, but he was gonna do one for for Dive Wallet. Uh, he just hasn't gotten around to it yet, but we're gonna work on that. Well, he he sounds you were like a, he, he sounds like started. a good man. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. My uh, my phone gives me alerts all the time on Eagles stuff because he talks about the Eagles day and as night. Well, as, well around, they sh- as well, as well, they should. <laughs> uh, we're we're gonna get it on the channel real quick, just for everybody to enjoy. That's right, with the marching band at the end in the background. Yeah, no, no, thank you, man. I'm good. I'm just hey, Dirty kidding. Mike, if you if you want to listen to a fellow Eagles fan rap, man, uh, you can tell Alex to listen to Doc Riddles. His name's actually Doc Riddles, but it pronounces it Riddles. So you should check that out sometime, man. It's funny. And what does he do? Uh, he's a he's a rapper. Does he rap about the Eagles? He raps about all kinds of cool stuff, man. He's been doing it for for what about a decade now. That's awesome. <laughs> I got to check him out, though. Uh, yeah, I, that's the one thing I miss about Philly. You know, it's weird down here in the Carolinas, man. Nobody's like pro sports fans. It's all like college football. I'm in like Clemson territory down here. And, you know, I don't like or hate Clemson, but, you know, I, I, I like college football some, but, you know, I'm you know, I'm a pro football guy. And it's just, it's just weird that like nobody likes pro football down here. Dude, I'm a yeah, I'm a big NFL guy. I yeah. don't really, I don't really, I didn't really do college, so I was in college. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm a diehard Saints fan, and and you know, I, I keep up with the NFL pretty religiously. So. You're down in Louisiana, right? Yes, sir. Well, being that you have the Saints down there and you have LSU and everything, is it more yeah. pro football down there, or is it more you know college? Uh, it's college on Saturday and pro on Sunday. There's no like, <laughs> I don't know that one's bigger than the other, man. They're both huge. Well, that's kind of cool. At least you got both options, you know, with it. But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's just weird. It's, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I just personally didn't follow it uh, until I was in college. But um, now I'm all over it and everything. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm still up to date, you know, down still- to – Everywhere on the on the NFL, man. You following your boy Joe Burrow? Yeah, yeah, of course. And then there was that huge trade yesterday, and nothing to do with my teams. But Russ is going to the uh, the Broncos. That's yeah, crazy. I saw, I, I saw that they uh, they definitely gave up a lot, but uh, yeah, Russ, Russ, <laughs> yeah, they did. They really gave up a lot. Yeah, I mean he's a great and uh, and they released. Uh, no, go ahead. He he's a great quarterback, and I just the money some of these guys are getting is just obscene. Like yeah. Aaron Rodgers getting four years off two hundred million dollars. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes is was four hundred fifty over ten years, That's right? Crazy. So he makes forty five a year. Yeah, with a signing bonus, and like all of it was guaranteed. I don't know if all of it was guaranteed, but I remember hearing something like that. And then like, uh, and then the the, the Seahawks yesterday released they they. Trade away Russ and release Bobby Wagner in the same day. That's just crazy, man. Yeah, he he's was just a completely different time. team. Yeah, yeah he, he was. was. He's played at a high level for a long time. It's just so long yeah, yeah, between. It's... it's so long from the Super Bowl to when like training camp and preseason starts. And preseason sucks anyway, but it's just so long in between yeah. football season. No, agreed, agreed. Yeah, I'm hoping the Eagles are going to do something this year. We got three first round draft picks, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Jalen Hurts is the answer for sure. Uh, I'm going to go with no on that one, but Car- that's oh, just me. My son actually told me today he came out and broke it to me. Carson Wentz got traded. Really? They tra- I didn't I, even I, I gotta say, I got to say the name right, the Washington Commanders, which is so weird. There will always be the Redskins to me. I'm sorry. Even if it's yeah, like the most, 100%. Even if it's like the most racist name ever, I can't, it's just like <laughs> – 
<laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I, I, it's crazy. What about you, sober? Who's your? Uh, who are you a 49ers fan? No, man, no. I'm actually a Raiders fan now. I was a Chargers fan. I grew up in San Diego. Um, they moved to LA, so I wasn't a Chargers fan anymore. And the Raiders moved to Vegas, so now I am a Raiders fan. It man, plays I, to my DJ nature and everything. <laughs> you've been out to Vegas many times? Uh, yeah, man, quite a few times. I like going to Reno, Tahoe, Vegas. It's a good time. I've never made it out west. If I ever make it out west, I'll definitely hit you guys up. But uh, I've always kind of just stayed on the east coast. I've never uh, never been out to Vegas. For somebody who's never been out to Vegas before, I, I don't know. Dirty Mike might die in Vegas. I don't know. I might have two people <laughs> time. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go anywhere in Vegas yet, so eventually. Yeah, you could go to Canada probably. I think you can uh, gamble. And, uh, <laughs> Canada, so. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> but for, some, for somebody who's never been to Vegas before, what's your recommendation for the first couple things that you do when you get there? Oh, man, you go check into your room and just go check out the casinos, man. There, there's plenty of shows going on and stuff. Um, there's a lot of really high uh, high towers you can go to and just go check out the entirety of the night of the night sky when it lights up. There's nothing like it, man. It's great. Now, I grew, I grew up about 50 miles from Atlantic City, and I started playing cards down there when I was like 15 years old. Any of you guys play cards? Nah, not me. Not often, at least. Yeah, I, I play poker every chance I get, man, with uh, a good group of friends. Uh, always down to down to play some poker. You guys got a home game you play in? Oh, yeah, all the time, man. We never bet. Wink, wink. Yeah. Okay, we, we, <laughs> we, we don't condone those type of things at Dirty Mike Crypto, wink, wink. All right. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of uh, I'm actually thinking of expanding my brand a little bit and starting to uh, get into talking some sports too and adding a Dirty Mike sports section too. So uh, now that I know you guys are such big sports fans, I'll have you guys on for that too. Hell yeah, absolutely. That's fun, man. I'm I'm excited with the nobilities thing, man. Their their whole like yeah uh, ecosystem. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like nobility. Are are you any of you guys checking out the? Uh, United DeFi tonight that Chris from Meta BUSD is doing. Wish I could. Um, again, yeah, midterms and stuff. But uh, you know, we were honored to be on there uh, last time, um, and hoping to be there, you know, sometime in the future. But uh, I'll definitely be tuning in to that man. Um, they're doing some great things with they are. United DeFi. I really, like, I really like trying to bring everybody together. That's what we're all about too. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I think, you know, I think you guys went on at like the perfect time too, like right before your launch. I think it might have even got some even more people you yeah. know, into your project. Oh, no. I, yeah, I think it definitely did, especially with guys like Brew Labs and stuff there. And it actually allowed us to connect with Brew Labs and, and do the stuff that we're doing with them. Um, but, you know, it, uh, you know, it was really cool. It was really cool, Chris, to invite us and everything. But yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we were stoked to be a part of it. We're awesome. definitely looking forward to the next one. Nice, one hundred percent. You know, so uh, we just did an interview with with uh, Nobility a couple of days ago, and they told us about their roundtable that they kind of have on Thursdays at eight uh, Eastern. That uh, they kind of give an open invitation for us to pop in anytime and hang out with them. I'll tell that's you, that's awesome. What, yeah, that's a great project to no. get. A, that's a pro great project to get in with too. They're doing some awesome things. No, yeah, they really are. Uh, you know, I mean, with, with our project and everything, we're trying to establish as many positive reputations with as many projects as you can, right? Because the the, the opportunity there is unlimited, right? Because you, know, you can link all the projects together with, right. you know, the thing in which they're held. That's kind of my my personal thing. And, like, I know that the everyone here follows the same kind of thinking, right? Like, you know, you say – like a, a token can say unite DeFi, right? That they want to bring everybody together, but a wallet can truly say, you know, here's where everything is united and here's where all your apps and everything are in one place, you know? Um, and that's kind of what we want to be. And that's, you know, 
kind of the the mindset we have going into wallet development and everything. Yeah, man, that's awesome. I, I'll tell you what, I got a joke going with Jake. Every single new project that I start talking with, I join the room <laughs> and I, I see his fucking name first up on the chat. I'm like, Jesus, he's in like every chat room I've ever like talked to. Oh, Iris Jake? is always there. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. My God. Everywhere, bro. Everywhere. <laughs> it's hard. I try. And people ask me, like, what's going on with this? And I'm like, bro, I just popped in, said hi, and left. I didn't really have time to go back and visit. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Sober, I just got that uh, Doc Riddles uh, thing that you sent me. Who did your Dive Wallet logo? Who did that image right there that you sent before that? That thing's awesome. <laughs> did Apex, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, if I saw it, I probably know where it came from, but I don't know what it looks like. Um, it's uh, got it, it. It's hard to describe. I, it looks like it's a rocket coming out of the water, maybe. Oh yeah, that was a community oh, that member. Was... Yeah, that was Hodler. Dude, that um, I'm not 100 sure that that's that's his unique um, material, to be honest, because um, he has told me he, he repurposes a lot of things he finds on the internet just because it's fun to do and. He doesn't want to take credit for it necessarily, but yeah, that was a community member that tossed that together. Man, that is an awesome, awesome logo. If he, if he lets you, man, you guys should definitely use that on a lot of your stuff because that, that's a really cool one. Yeah, it is pretty cool. You know, we're really grateful for our community. A lot of creative We've minds in it. Quite a few things from them. Yeah. You, are you guys going to get into? Are you guys going to mint and release any NFTs or anything? We. Us like yeah. our project. Yeah. We've talked about it. I mean, that's just like how will NFTs play into like our ecosystem and everything. Um, you know, I, it, it's been toyed with that the pro features, instead of holding something, uh, you know, once you get to a certain point, you'll be able to mint an NFT, which establishes pro features. Um, something like that. I don't know. I mean, I could see it, right? Especially as we expand to, to other parts of the, the crypto space um, because, uh, you know, who knows where we'll go from here, but um, it uh, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's a cool, it's a cool prospect, right? I mean, it's a cool idea. Um, and I'd love to do it. It's just like, where would they fit and not just be uh, a random investment for people yeah. to buy? You know? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> now your wallet's going to be able to hold NFTs, right? If people want to like transfer their NFTs over to you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. The one thing I do want to say is that you shouldn't. You also shouldn't like um, you shouldn't transfer your assets, right? Unless you want to pay taxes on all your reflectionary tokens, you can just import uh, a wallet straight into ours from Trust Wallet, MetaMask, wherever. Okay, so your wallet's going to work to where you can just import it, like from uh, Trust Wallet or MetaMask, right into yours. Yeah. So yeah, you can actually yeah you can do that right now with with Trust Wallet, MetaMask, you know, SafePal, whatever. Um, because all you need is that that key phrase, um, which kind of grants access to everything. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, you should be able to just import everything, so you don't have to eat, you know, the whatever taxes it is, um, just to you know be able to do what you want to do. Man, that's awesome. We got a lot of good information yep. out. I'm gonna let you guys get going because I, I know you got your midterm in a few minutes. Uh, get your few last yeah. minute uh, cram in on it. Uh, I, I think I think <laughs> Irish you. is doing something. He's probably in the game right now. He didn't even say goodbye. Whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm here, bro. You're I'm still listening. you're still here. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep. I found out I had to keep score for the opposing team too, so I'm going to crash course in this right now. <laughs> 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 and then all kinds of shit started breaking loose, like a wild pitch, and kids started scoring that didn't hit the ball. So I'm trying to figure out where I got to mark him down at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let you guys go so you can uh, pay attention to that. Thank you guys uh, so much for uh, joining me tonight. And uh, you guys are always welcome on the channel anytime you got anything you want to talk about. And even just to shoot the shit for a half hour, man, I'll invite you guys, you know, periodically. I love I love talking to you guys. Absolutely. We'll be in touch with it. All right, guys, sound good. Sounds good. Uh, oh, and APEC, I'm gonna live stream that uh, United DeFi tonight. So uh, if you uh, want to oh, check cool. it out, I'll have that up at some point tonight. I'll be live streaming and then I'll like post it. So I'm sure other people post it too. But if you just want to pop in and check it out, I'll have it going. 
Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. All right, guys. I I appreciate you, Mike. And thanks for your time, too, Gavin. You guys are doing an an awesome job. And uh, for anybody who's listening that's not involved with Dive Wallet, check these guys out. They're the real deal. They got some awesome stuff going on. And uh, it's definitely the time to get in because the price probably won't be lower than this. So I'll talk with you guys again shortly. Great. And great job. All right, man. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be in touch. Thanks, man. Thank you to the community. You guys are great. We love you so much, man. Thank you, community members. Awesome. Awesome. All All right, right, guys. Well, that's uh, that's it. That's all we got for tonight. We were just going to have a little bit of discussion with the guys from Dive Wild. They've had an awesome week, and, uh, you know, I wish them nothing but the best. They were there for the early days of uh, Dirty Mike Crypto. (laughs) It's still the early days. They (laughs) they were there all the way from the beginning, and... uh, I just want to thank all the listeners tonight and all the questions that we did have. Uh, it's great feedback from the community. And uh, if you guys aren't a sub, make sure you uh, sub to my channel. I'll be putting out content, uh, you know, daily for you guys. And uh, I, I just I appreciate you guys coming on. I'll talk to you guys again shortly. All righty. See you later. All right, guys. See you.